Peggy 18. Hello and welcome to this huge film armory with thousands of weapons and armors from movies like Narnia or Hellboy. It's the only publicly accessible movie armor in Europe where we are going to show you the weapons and combat system of Kingdom Come Deliverance. When designing the combat, our goal was to create immersive, sophisticated first-person melee system that would be as close to reality as possible while still as easy to control as any first-person shooter. Our combat is based on physics, which means that swords clash and slide along the armor. Every hit has proper physical reaction, and we detect more than 30 target zones on every character with four layers of armor. It's also very complex. You can perform three types of attacks, slash, stab, kick, and you can attack five different directions, head, left and right upper body, and left and right uh, lower body. On top of that, we have special techniques. Introducing special situational combat techniques into a video game was not an easy task, because you have limited controls, limited field of view, limited knowledge of your surroundings. So we came up with combos. And it works like in your typical fighting game. If you chain particle strikes, you can weaken the enemy and then finish him with special attack. We wanted to let you try and fight with almost every common weapon that was used back then. Axe, or mace, is heavy. It's short, slow, quite bad at defense, but very practical in armored fight. Sword, on the other hand, is an all-purpose combat tool, but a good sword was quite expensive. You can see how effective it is in our other video. In medieval times, you never go wrong if you bring a shield with you to the battlefield, or something long enough to keep the enemy at a distance. Fighting an opponent in armor is like fighting a tank. Check out our other video where we tested how much medieval armor could withstand. A lot. So when you fight with armored opponent, the most important set is your and opponent's stamina. When it's low, attacks are weaker, block could be broken, and opponent could be easily finished, just like in the real world. Stamina is also lowered by low health, bleeding, or when your character is tired or hungry. So you better prepare, eat and sleep well before you get into a fight. And I'm not joking. It's very important to move around the enemy and strike from the direction he doesn't expect it. That's why we have directional attacks. First, you want to strike the bad guy where his armor is weakest. With every strike, you also damage his armor, so it's a good strategy to attack repeatedly from one direction. However, the enemy will anticipate that and cover the area with his sword or shield. You can exploit it and change the attack zone at the last moment to trick him. The blocking is important game mechanism. You can just parry the attacks by holding the button, but it won't last long, as blocking this way will cost you a lot of stamina. So what you want to do is to time your blocks into enemy attacks, lead the strikes away and counter-attack immediately. The very new feature of the game is unarmed combat, because sometimes you don't want to hurt someone too much. Throughout the game, you can also learn special techniques that allow you to strike back even during the parry. These master strikes will slay your typical foe quite quickly, or they can give you more space or some other advantage. But they are very difficult to perform when you first learn them. However, we are the RPG, so if you train a little, your gaming character gets used to these techniques, and they become much easier to perform. And you can always bring a big heavy shield and you don't need to learn this fancy stuff or just get a bow and shoot everyone or get them from behind when they are sleeping or fighting someone else. All these techniques, parrying, master strikes or combo strikes are based on real historical martial arts. We work with experts to make fighting in Kingdom Come as real as possible. And it's still a lot of fun. So, that's our combat system. It took a lot of people, a lot of effort to create something unique, complex and as close to the real thing as possible. 
but intuitive and accessible at the same time. But I believe that we nailed it. Thanks for watching and bye.